Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another video on unit testing in Android. In the last video, we jumped right into writing real world unit test inside an existing Android project. We filtered the countries by their drive side, used a AAA model that is Arrange, Act and Assert and saw how a test case is structured and executed. Now I received a great suggestion in the comments, something that I really appreciate. A viewer pointed out that when we use a full-fledged app to explain a new concept, it can feel overwhelming, especially if you are starting out and don't know the app structure yet. That got me thinking and I completely agree. Not everyone is familiar with the app I used in the previous video and if you are new to unit testing or Kotlin, it can be distracting to figure out what's happening in rest of the code base. So in this video, I want to zoom out a little and take a clean distraction free approach. We are going to learn unit testing from scratch using just pure Kotlin, no Android classes, no Android application specific components like activity, service, no view models. Why? Because before we test things like repositories and view models, we should first master how to test simple logic that is functions, conditions and data transformations. And that's what unit testing is all about at its core. So think of this video as laying a strong foundation. Once you are comfortable testing pure Kotlin code, we will move on to more complex Android components and you will feel much easier and more natural when we start dealing with testing those things. And I promise that this step back will actually help us go faster and deeper in the next few videos. So let's get started. What I will do is I will simply close this. Let me disconnect the existing thing. I will start new project and I will start a completely clean slate project that is no Android components in it, no activity, not even empty activity. And then I will get started with application name and let me call it unit testing basics and let me create the project. This is the project that got created. Let me just open this and if you see here this folder that is com.cotutor unit testing basics. This is where typically your Android components go into. So for example, if you write a activity components that is Jetpack components, all those things, they will go in here. And there is this another folder called as unit test basics. Then it is called as Android test. So this section is usually used to write your Android component based test cases like view models, activities, those kind of stuff. We don't want to even go there as of now. So what I will go is I will go to this another folder called as just test and there is already a sample unit test written there. You have a class called example unit test. So the sample unit test that gets automatically populated when you create a empty Android project is this one. So you can already see a convention that is being followed. The test case classes are written whatever the class that you want to test and then you put a test at the end. So we will also be following same convention and then whatever the function that you want to write which will have the test cases that is written with a annotation at test. So this is how the JUnit framework will come to know that at test annotation should be treated as a unit test. And then you have assert equals. So there are various methods under assert. If you just go under this, there is assert true, assert false, fail, assert equals. You can go through the documentation to understand what all different kinds of assert methods that are there as a part of this assert class. So we would be using these methods that are there inside this assert in our test cases. When you say assert, you are basically checking is this condition holds true or not. So on the left hand side, you write the expected and on the right hand side, you write what is the actual value. You run this particular test case and it checks addition is correct. And let's assume that if I make this different, it should fail. 
So let me run this. Yeah, addition is correct. It failed and it shows expected was four, but actually is three. And now if I make it three and once again run this and now it is working perfectly fine. So what we will do is we will write a completely a new test case from scratch to demonstrate the same idea. I will create Kotlin class. I will still check country filter, but I will create my own data class. So country filter test and let me create a data class called as country and then I will create a country filter and I am testing this particular country filter test. So let me write certain import statements here and then start writing test that is at test function test filter by your drive side and we are basically testing the left part and then inside this we will have to follow a triple a model that is arrange act assert and what do we do in the arrange we set the list of countries with the name and drive side so that is what this would look like we just arranged it and then here we act so when i say act we apply the filter by drive side so value result is equal to country by filter filter by drive side pass the country's list comma left so this should give me the result and then assert equals there are two entries that have left as the value so expected should be size 2 actual should be result dot size and now if i run this it shows that it passed successfully let's assume that this was capital L and now if I run this it should fail yeah expected to actually is one because this comparison made the test case fail if you want to check whether each of them is left I can write another statement inside this that is assert true whether all of the entries that are there inside the result are having drive side is equal to left and if I just run this once again I should get the same result which is a test case pass. So in this case we wrote our test cases with absolutely clean slate. In the next video we will continue to build on top of this to demonstrate various ways of writing unit test cases without any Android specific things. So stay that tuned. Us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.